All right, a few weeks ago, Evil Energy sent me this, these packages, and they sent it for the BMW there, and uh, they wanted me to review it, and I'd be glad to. I have used these project products previously on the 57. I used their fuel line kit, and the leftovers of which are right there. and the Corvette fuel filter. So let's open this stuff up and see what we got. We got 25 feet of hose. We've got the Corvette style fuel filter, which is also a regulator. It's got the quick connect fittings there. There's 25 feet of hose. I'm kind of poor one-handed, ain't I? There's the various fittings. All AN six in here is a fuel pump by the way that regulates the pressure to 58 to 60 pounds it can be mounted on the frame rail We'll have to make a bracket to use that. It's got a few wire connectors there. Plenty of stickers. What else do we got? Quarter inch pipe to AN fitting there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to install a fitting on, uh, <clears throat> on this braided hose. This, is, this stuff worked good on the 57. I haven't had any troubles out of it yet. To cut this stuff, <clears throat> I'm just gonna give you a sample here. Wrap a piece of tape around it. Nice and tight if you can, without being too klutzy. And then I gotta go get my cutoff wheel. Use a cutoff wheel. Stand by. Make sure you wear some safety glasses. so it doesn't mess things up. Take some glass off so I can see. You want to slip your nut on first. And then you need to take a little screwdriver and work the braid back. the braided part up and you want to make sure you don't have any of the little wires sticking down on the line
Get it up like so. And then there's the little ferrule. You slip it tapered part in. Also got this little tool. It didn't come with that kit, but I had it previously. Just work it in there. Make sure everything is nice and round. Then just push it on square. Now you slide this piece up inside there and then tighten the nut up. And the best way to do that is with an aluminum wrench, which I think I have here. Hold the stationary part of the nut and then just tighten up your compression nut. Like so. And now, this piece goes on the fuel filter. I'll show you that momentarily. It's got a 6AN fitting. You just thread that on there and tighten it up. All right, now this is the quick connect fitting. It comes with it. This is a 5 16 for the return side. And what you do is push that on. And then this is a nut that slides. If I can do this one handed, slides over like so. <laughs> Struggling, ain't I? There's the neighbor's hot rod. Pretty sweet OBS Chevrolet truck with a six speed. There, and that keeps it from coming off. This is the 3 8 one, goes the same way. And then the front side, it just slips in there. It's got little teeth in there that locks it in place. Just push it in. And that's your fuel filter assembly. Do what I showed you right there to connect to that. Alright, now I'm going to go up under the car and just kind of mock things up a little bit. So you can see how it would be installed. This is the frame mounted fuel pump. Unfortunately, it didn't come with a bracket or the fitting that goes in that end. But we'll go ahead and go into the car and kind of show you how things would be. This fitting here goes up on the intake. I'll grab an intake and show you how that works. This piece, this is the fuel inlet on the intake. Just starts on, pushes on there like so. And then this piece just threads on there to lock it in place very much like the fuel filter. And then you would run your line to this. Now on this car, there's not a lot of room in the back to install fuel filters or fuel pumps. So what we'll have to do, 
These are the factory fuel lines, which by the way, has got pretty nice little holders there. This I believe is the factory fuel filter with a loose clamp. How do you like that? Anyway, we'd need to remove that and take the filter and place it in the same area, probably a little further down right there. Now this line right here goes back to the tank, the return. This one comes from the tank. You probably need to mount it right about there. And then the frame mounted fuel pump would fit in this same area also. Typically you like to have it closer to the tank. But that's only about three feet away. Tank's right there. And that's the only place it'll fit. And then you would run your fuel line from this end of the filter on up through the same area the factory lines are routed and go to the engine just like I showed you on the intake manifold. Um, <clears throat> this stuff is made in China but I've had good luck with it so far. It seems like good quality stuff. Um, I would recommend it. I have the same stuff on the 57. And it's been running just fine. Which has a 6 liter LS engine. Same as this. Well, not the same, but same thing, only different. So, check it out. It's good stuff. I'm also going to use it on that truck there. I need to, uh, this one has an in-tank pump already, but I need to run the fuel lines up to the engine, and I'm going to use that same filter on that truck. So, check them out. I'm going to leave a link in the description. It's good stuff. Doesn't leak. Ethanol fuels won't hurt it. And it looks good too. That's always a bonus, right? We'll have to make a bracket for that and find out what fitting I need here. But that's not insurmountable. So, appreciate it, Evil Energy. Check them out. They give you lots of stickers. Lots of stickers. Alright, thanks for watching. Go get you some.